Now we've been using X-Tool lasers for a very long time. And matter of fact, our very first portable laser was the X-Tool F1. Uh, we participated in the beta program when the X-Tool F1 was first launched many years ago. Matter of fact, I still have my beta unit here. This little guy right here was one of the first. I think he's probably about anywhere from one to 10 coming off of the assembly line. Uh, so old and so beta that he doesn't even have a emergency stop button like you can see with these guys right here. Uh, worked so well for such a long time and we ultimately upgraded to a production version which is a and we've been using this laser ever since for every single on-site engraving that we've been on. And it's done fantastic. It was, it's been an amazing laser. But let's face it, there's been advancements in technology and also in speed and also new capabilities that have been introduced that make laser engraving easier than ever. For example, a camera. We definitely need a camera. Second, speed and power. Speed and power has also increased incredibly. And as you've seen with some of the changes with the F1 Ultra and the F2 Ultra, there's been more improvements on how you engrave. So in today's video, we're gonna take a look at the brand new F2 laser engraver. This is by far the best mobile laser on the market and should be the laser that if you wanna do mobile engraving or you're getting into engraving, this is a great laser to start and also it allows you to expand your business. We're gonna take a look at some of the features. I'm gonna show you all the work that we've engraved and we have right here the air purifier, which I would say is a must have accessory if you're gonna do on-site engraving or even if you're home and you don't have the way to vent out um, your pollutants, this is the way to go. Now there are several key features that we're going to highlight throughout this video and I'm going to show you my engraving process. Not only speed but the new features that are available with the F2. First of all, this now has a 50 megapixel camera that makes laser engraving precision when it means alignment spot on. This is something that this laser lacked. The other thing it has is the fact that it has a larger laser. <laughs> this guy did well but was very slow. So the speed that you get from this laser, so we're 50% faster than the previous laser. Something that, for example, would take 10 minutes, literally, I kid you not, 10 minutes from, from a jewelry perspective, now takes 40 seconds. That is a massive, massive lift. If you can imagine yourself having a line of five people and every engraving that you're doing for them takes 10 minutes, that means that the second person in line is waiting 10 minutes for the first person to be finished. If you have three people in line, now you have a 20 minute wait time. If you have four people in line, now you have a 40 minute wait time. So if you can engrave in seconds, 40 seconds, all of a sudden you're getting through all that demand in minutes, like four minutes, no joke. So this laser has faster processing, faster engraving, has a 40 meg or actually a 50 megapixel camera, and it has also something that I think was very important, and that is curved engraving. That was something that was missing when it came to this laser because there are times that I don't want to use a rotary because the image is just going to be rotated slightly, but because of the curved feature and the way the laser worked at the time, you wouldn't be able to get that engraving done. You can with this one, and I'm gonna show you some samples and we'll go over some of the things that you can see here in this laser as well. Now, while the form factor for the F2 and the F1 are very similar in size, handle, and just all the convenience features that you'd expect, there's a lot that's changed. So you're looking at a 15 watt laser, a blue light laser, and a five watt blue light laser on the new F2 versus what we had before, which was a 10 watt laser with a two watt laser. Now, as you think about that, the three additional watts for the red laser, and then the additional five watts for the uh, blue laser, don't underestimate that difference because it's not just about that power increase, but it's also the speed in which it's processing and engraving, which is pretty significant. And that is something that I, I really enjoy as I'm using the laser. Everything else is pretty much the same when it comes to the engravable area that you can see um, based on the form factor. And the accessories themselves are also very compatible with each other. Now, the other thing I'll just highlight, now I'm not a big cutter when it comes to material, but from a cutting perspective, you can cut up to a 15 millimeter piece of wood and a 12 millimeter piece of acrylic with this guy right here. That used to be only eight and six. So, you know, that's actually improved as well. Now, the other thing is really about that speed. That is the speed that really is, is, is what I really like, the fact that it can process information um, or engrave what we need really fast. So to give you an example, here for, uh, this is a, a piece, uh, this is a stainless steel uh, piece of jewelry, and this guy was engraved in 
uh, 40 seconds. I think it was 39 to 49 seconds compared to 10 minutes on this guy over here. So there's a specific speed bump that you can see. Now, as we look at the laser, there's something that you can notice immediately. Now you can see that both of these lasers are on. This laser has a light, this one uh, doesn't. And uh, something else that I've put in mind. So I typically put a pre-filter with all of our lasers just to make sure, you know, uh, I hate cleaning fans. So that just helps with um, making sure that uh, it's a carbon filter and it keeps things uh, clean for me um, as we're engraving. And we've been doing a lot of engraving. The actual engravable area is the same. And what you'll see is that we've been doing a lot of engraving. We've been doing engraving of coasters, right? So slate coasters. We've been engraving uh, keychains. Wood keychains are really popular, guys. And this guy is right here. These wood keychains engraved in 22 seconds. 22 seconds, not for one, but 22 seconds for four. And the engraving quality that we got from this laser was pretty spectacular. So this is what we're looking at right there. 22 seconds. But the materials don't end there. You have the ability to do, uh, again, all the, the wood types that you see here, metal types as well. And what I wanna show you, and we're gonna zoom into, is the actual capabilities that we get when using curved engraving. Now on the curved engraving side, I wanna show you a logo that was engraved on a cup that was suffering when you were engraving on the curved area. So you see this logo right here? This is a logo of a company that we've been working with. Notice how over here, this doesn't seem like it's straight. That's because as it's going through the curvature, and you can see the curvature of the cup, it loses focus and then it warps the image. The O's are warped. There's a lot of things in this kind of test cup that are completely off because of the, of the curved surface. Now, with the F2, this was engraved on the F2. This area right here was completely engraved on the F2 and I want you to see the curvature. Look at the curvature that you have right there. Significant curvature. But you notice that everything looks spectacular. This is incredible for something this small. Now, when you look at something this big, you're probably asking yourself, like, how did I get it in there? Well, it's pretty simple, right? So I just placed it either like this to engrave or like this to engrave. And this is gonna be a fantastic solution for those of you that need to engrave just a front. Now, we're not talking about a full wrap on a cup, just something where you put a logo. And think about how many cups are out there that just have a logo in the front. But you don't have to restrict your logo to be this small. Again, look at how small this logo is. This is a really, really small logo. It's probably two inches versus this one right here that's almost three inches wide. Pretty spectacular, so I love that. How does that translate to other products? Well, here is a shot glass that we did on the, again, on, on the F2. And you can see, again, the curvature. Look at the curvature right there. And you can see how that curvature did not impact the overall quality of the shot glass. And again, it was pretty simple for us to do this. We just put the shot glass in, we focused, and then we engraved. It was that easy. Over here, you're gonna see the times that it took for us to engrave this. We do a lot of volunteer work with um, shelters, and this was uh, some dog tags that I engraved. Uh, this is super fast too, incredibly fast to engrave these, and all the settings are found in the XCS software. You're gonna see this live, how we did that. And you can see that that just fits there really nicely, and you're able to engrave. Bottle stoppers, very popular. Wine season, wine country, if you have them, these as well. I think these took a minute to do. Crazy. One minute for all of these. So really, really fast speeds. Business cards, we do those as well. So here's a, a pink business card because Nolda likes pink. But then I also have a black business card that um, has a different finish to it. So you can see this one right here. All these done on the F2. So let's see the F2 in action so you can see how easy it is to use the Xtool software. And make sure you take advantage of the actual sale that's going on right now. Uh, you can pre-order the laser, you can get uh, a discount. I also included my discount in the description area as well. So you can maximize your investment and get this fantastic laser. Now, as I mentioned, one of the things that sets the F2 apart from its predecessor, the F1, and one of the best features I find is its camera. Camera is super accurate. And I want to give you an example of not just the camera feature that's a game changer, but then also the batch fill feature that's going to make, again, engraving faster than ever before. Uh, check this out. So here I have a jig that I'm using. This is one of our jigs. 
that basically is for dog tags. And we do a lot of support for local um, animal shelters, adoption um, agencies. And this is one that we've worked on in the past. And imagine you are on site engraving for an adoption event and need to create a whole bunch of dog tags that basically have the, again, the shelter's name, and then you're gonna have the owner and the dog's name when they adopt a pet. That's kind of like the scenario that we're working on right here. Now here I have my actual image, and the first thing I wanna do is I wanna put this image on all of these different dog tags. Well, I could copy and paste them, or I could use the magic of AI that's part of the Creative Studio. So what I'm gonna do is go here, and we're gonna choose a batch fill. And with the batch fill, we're first gonna frame out the material. And once we frame out the material, and I'm gonna make this a little bit tighter right here, so this is the dog tag, I'm gonna hit fill and it's going to identify all the other dog tags and perfectly align them for me for my engraving. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll hit fill and it's going to go ahead and recognize the material and watch the magic happen. Bam. All of them are aligned and all of them are in the same position. This is crazy. This is how fast this is. So now I have all of my dog tags full and I'm now going to engrave. But guess what? I've never engraved a dog tag before and I don't know what the settings should be. I could go to Facebook, I can search on ChatGPT, or I could click on the material list, go into the Creative Studio and type in dog tag. And look at here, dog tags. Dog tags are different colors that are here. I'm gonna choose this one right here. I'm gonna choose this, and when I click on this, the settings have already been defined for me. Isn't that awesome? Now, all I'm gonna do, and everything is right now set to engrave. So what we're gonna do now is hit process, and once I hit process, I'm gonna see how long this is gonna take. Now, one other thing I wanted to highlight is that the XCS software also gives you the ability to um, kind of highlight the material, right? By pressing this little button right here, you're gonna see a little frame showing where these uh, items are gonna engrave. I always do this, this is kind of like old school me, always double checking to see if the material is gonna be engraved in the right spot, even if I have the camera. It's just me being paranoid, uh, but let's see how well it does. Now this is where the power of this laser really comes in, especially at this size. You can see that it's gonna take a little bit over a minute to engrave all these dog tags. So the actual laser is gonna move from tag to tag, and you can see how bright white these tags are, which is something also that you get from anodized aluminum, and it makes the dog tags stand out a lot. Uh, we've been doing this for years now, and these actually last a long time. Uh, so we've placed, a, I can't even imagine what the number is at this point, but we never had a dog tag return and we never had a complaint. And everyone is always amazed at how clean, how bright uh, the whites are when it comes to dog tags. And what steps uh, aside for me is how long this takes. If I am working with um, someone who is interested in adopting a, a pet and they're waiting for a dog tag, the fact that I can do six in no time. And you're going to see how quickly we were able to do actually a name. This is just putting kind of like the branding or the logo of the company. This was like super duper fast compared to what we would do in the past. Um, a larger laser can do it at a higher speed, but this is definitely very doable. Now, as soon as we take a look at these dog tags, you'll see, we'll go ahead and pop this open, how nice these look, how professional they look. And because all of them are exactly aligned in the same place, this is going to be a repeat customer. So now let's see how well we did. Just a minute, but we're gonna refresh this camera for a second, and I wanna see how well the alignment went. Now, notice how spot on this is. Look at this, I'm gonna go ahead and move these graphics away, and it's just right there. I'm gonna move this one away, and you're gonna see it's right there, right? Same thing with this guy, move it, and it's right there. So really, really nice, precise engravings um, coming from, again, um, this actual camera and process. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add a name to this tag. Now let's pretend that we have someone who's gonna adopt a dog and we have all the shelter names and now we're gonna put the person's dog name and their information. So now let's go ahead and make the tag for the person who's adopting the pet. Our dog's name is Crypto, please call my mom and we have the phone number here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and make sure that we have the right material type uh, chosen, so we're gonna do the dog, uh, anodized aluminum, apply it. Uh, the settings have all come through. I know that this is gonna be spot on. I can double check to make sure my camera is still showing the most current image, which it is. I'm gonna hit process. Let's see how long this is gonna take. 
Watch this. Nine seconds. Isn't this wild? So now imagine you have 15 people in line. That's nine seconds between each person that you're going to be creating a dog tag. Let's go ahead and hit start. This is crazy. All right, so we're going to do this in real time. We're going to hit the button. It's going to go really fast. Again, nine seconds to be able to put a name and the details uh, for this pet. Nine seconds. That's all it took. Well, guys, that was easy and that was done. Now we're going to do a quick coaster. And the quick coaster, I'm using the craft settings that are in the material list uh, from Creative Studio. And it's fast. This is going to be a little bit over a minute. And you can see how dark the engraving is coming through. You can see how well the air purifier is doing, sucking out all that debris. And it's just fast. And this saves you so much time that you can actually do on-site cork coaster engraving. You don't have to do all this prep before you go to an event. You could do it right there. And this attracts people. People watch this happening and they want to buy. This is definitely a way to go. Now this one just took uh, one minute and about seven seconds. And this is again, all these uh, cork stoppers, which are really popular, can be done on site as well and on demand. And we sped up this video a little bit just so that we can show you how it works, but it was a minute to do and look at how great they looked. All right, so now the next thing we did was a metal business card and metal business cards are also really fast. This just took seconds to create and I think it was about 40 seconds to engrave. Now I can slow this down and do some improvements. I wanted to really test that speed. It's all about how fast could I go? And again, uh, I could probably even go faster. I'd have to tweak a little bit more, but these are coming out with stock settings and I thought it did incredibly well. You'll see if you want to do these business cards and you're doing a hundred of them, it wouldn't be something that would be that challenging to do, especially given the speed. This actually has a QR code and QR codes do take a little bit longer to um, engrave because of the detail that's there. So you can see that it slowed down a bit there, but check out how this turned out. And you know, if you don't need a hundred business cards yourself, you can personalize your own cards or do it for others. All right, so next we're doing the actual uh, stainless steel pendant. And this is also a 40 second process that used to take nine minutes and like 51 seconds. So it's a, this rounded up to 10 minutes, 10 minutes to do. And then this one is done in 40 seconds, 39 something. And again, this changes the way you, you know, your workflow just changes how, the volume that you can process. It changes also how you can engage with the customers because you spend less time waiting for a machine to finish an engraving and more time cross-selling, more time talking to them about, you know, the piece here. Now this is going to look a little brown as it's um, being engraved. But once it's completed engraving, uh, you just wipe it off with some rubbing alcohol or you'll see me as I pick this up, it's going to just, I'm just going to put it with my finger and just going to rub it off and it looks this great. That's all it is. Now this next one, be careful because when you blink, you're done. This took 22 seconds to complete. Crazy fast. And again, the quality was really, really good. And again, this again highlights the ability to be able to do this on site and showcase, again, the products that you're creating. You can create custom products within seconds and at quality, just like you see here. Pretty spectacular. All right, so next we're going to look at curved engraving. And what you do is you do the curved map and then it shows you what your uh, logo would look like or the item that you're putting on the cup. So you can see here that my logo is a little bit too large, so I'm going to go ahead and reduce the size a bit so that it makes sure that it fits and put it where I want closer to the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the preview again and you can see how it nicely fits there. And again, that's gonna eliminate any of the distortion that takes place when you're looking at the actual um, engrave itself. So this is a great, um, again, option to have. Now, as I'm setting up that curved engraving, this is what the curved engraving looks like. Um, it's the, at least the framing as to the area that it's going to engrave. So you can see right here, and literally what it's doing is it's checking out, again, the sides. It's doing the entire scan so that I can engrave it on this cup. So guys, that wraps up this review. Make sure you take advantage of the current discounts that are going on right now with the F2. And don't forget the air purifier. This is a must-have accessory. Uh, calling it an accessory doesn't do it justice. This is a must-add uh, component of this laser so that you can laser engrave anywhere in your home or outside and not worry about any smoke or smell. See you in the next video.